Good morning. Welcome to the prayer porch. It's good to have you here today. I um, I feel like I have a really important message to bring you today. I come with a really different heart. I um, It's been stirring. I told you yesterday the weekend was f wonderful, full, but there was so much in it that uh, my husband and I have just been pondering. And I'll be honest, I have not slept much. Probably shows in my eyes. Um, I was up all night, but I was up all night just spiritually in a preparation, I don't know how to say it, just in a spiritual, be ready, be ready. Uh, you need to give a strong message. And I was delighting in part in this message because yesterday at, um, well, let me go backwards. This weekend, my husband and I told you as we were celebrating the holiday weekend, we just kept coming past them. We talk a lot and I, I love our weekend Shabbats because we just sit and we study together. And in our studies together, we were talking and he said, um, he said, I just, we were talking about the burden we feel for repentance. Just, so we just started praying for Lord, whatever it is between us, that you that just tear those walls down, just draw our family to you, draw our friends to you, let our testimony not be hidden in you. And we just, this whole spirit of repentance and the calling back because, um, I don't know, just, there's an urgency and I, whether it is God prepare my heart when, for what's coming or what, I just know it's never bad. Repentance should be something that is every day and it makes you new every morning. And uh, so I just, I, I, can't, I dreamed when I, I'll be honest, when I woke up, I woke up because I dreamed I was on the prayer porch and I just looked right in there and said, you need to repent. You need to really analyze do you know where you're going do you know where you are going when you die and if you're answering that question you're saying no when i don't know where i'm going and i'm driving i stop and i ask directions if you don't know where you're going stop and ask how do i get how do i get there how do i get to heaven how do i renew my mind just as a get rich young roller came before jesus and said how do i do this how do i do this and uh if you seek his word, he wants you to repent and turn and change. So here we had been talking about this all weekend. And yesterday at school, I was given the most beautiful gift. I was going through the hall and, you know, you see the different kids in the hall and the staff. And you say, hey, how was your long weekend, you know? And I said that to this one girl and she just stopped. And she turned around in this dancing spin. She looked like she was on a dance floor. And she said, Miss Spencer, do I look different? And I said, you look so happy. I said, you must have had a wonderful break. And she said, I did because I have been transformed. I said, she's been transformed. And she said, yes, can you not see I've changed? I'm changing, I am being changed. And I said, well, that's exciting. And I said, I said, tell me more. And I, 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 my spirit knew right away. I said, do you have a news you want to tell me? And she said, I got baptized. I accepted Jesus as my savior. I found Jesus and he has changed me. He has totally changed me. And she was so excited. And I said, that, that's repentance. That is a turnaround that I want. That's that rebirth that Nicodemus was looking for. That he was so afraid of. It's when we peel off the old and we know I am a new creature. She that and that was the word she said. She didn't say transform. She said, I'm a new creature. And I thought that was it's, I just was so excited for her. I said, Well, you're a beautiful creature. And she said, Yes, I am. Being a new creature in a time when things seem like it's falling apart. Jesus wants you to make you a new creature. He wants you to be called to repentance and say, Lord, here I am. I believe that you are the one and only son of God. You are my Lord and my savior. And I want to make you Lord and king of my life. I'm a sinner. I've done wrong. I, I need to be transformed. I need you to change this. It's not one of these Facebook commercials that say, ah, the before, after, and the after picture. If you do this chair X or yoga, or if you take this drink, or if you, not even a Chuck Norris drink. 
It's saying, God, I want all of you and none of me. I know that Jesus is your savior. I know he died. I know he rose from the dead and he did that to free me from the bonds of sin and death. But I can't be free if I don't hand him the chains and say, I'm going to trade your blood and forgiveness for these chains. I want to become a new creature. I want to become a new creature. And he has told us it's not a new story. In the Old Testament, it's a verse that I, I really thought I was, I came down this morning and I looked up all these. Go ahead and look in your concordance for repentance. It's from the beginning to the end. It starts in Genesis and in Revelation. You hear repentance. It's the one thing that's the whole way through the bottle. Bible, turn around and come back to me, my children. Come back home, prodigal. But when I came to um, Chronicles, it's one you hear all the time. But it's one that lays it out. It simply says, if my people, you probably quote it by memory. It's in, if you want to look it up, it's 2 Chronicles, which is in the Old Testament. 2 Chronicles, Chronicles are the listings of the kings. 2 Chronicles chapter 7. And if you go down here, my numbers are too small to see. I want to think it's 14. It's in that area. It's not going to hurt you to read a little more or a little behind if it's not. And it simply says, if my people who are called by my name, who call me by, and it, just put that in reference. If my people who call out my name, Jesus, Jesus, if you call out my name, if you humble yourself and you just pray, Pray is just conversation. It doesn't have to be formal. I don't know how to pray. Do you know how to talk? Just talk to him. Just talk to him. He takes the words. He understands. I'm sure there are times your children don't know how to talk to you, but do you want them not to talk to you because they're afraid they don't know how? No, I want them to say, I'm my brother. Talk to me. I can help you walk through this. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Stop and ask directions. Stop and say, God, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to be your child. I don't know. I'm not good enough. And they'll say, no, you're not, but you are in me. Let me have you. And let me make you a new creation. Let me make you. And you are good enough because you're mine. You're mine. Seek my, those, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face. And this is the one that most people get glitched on. And turn from your wicked ways. Change. Give up what's hurting you. I'm not going to lose weight if I keep eating little Debbies. I have to change. I have to change. But that change is easy in him. When he's the one in you, he is your strength. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins. And I will restore their land. My eyes will be open and my ears will be attentive to every prayer that is made. Wow. Wow. One of the verses my husband and I quote every day is that without faith, we cannot please God. And that's because faith says, God, I know who you are. I know I need you. I know I want to be, as she said, Miss Spencer, can you tell I'm a new creature? We want to be renewed in him. When we put our hands back in the creator's hands, the one that mold us in the womb and say, fix me, I'm broken. He says, oh, come here, come into my workshop and I will show you what beauty you have within. Because I'm gonna put my Holy Spirit 
within you. And your light is going to shine. Repent. Give up what's hurting you anyway. Because the wages of sin is death. So quit holding on to it. Say, God, I give it to you. I don't want to be this anymore. I want to be a new creation. Seek him. Seek him and you will find him. Knock and he will answer. Ask. And salvation is yours. If you're not sure still, please message me. Or find somebody whose fruits you know are his. This is a gift you can't give up. Because there's eternity waiting on you. And what you choose is going to be the choice that you make forever. Choose him. Choose Jesus. Choose Jesus. Humble yourself, pray, seek his face, and repent. And he says he will heal your land, and he will hear all, all your prayers. He wants to. He's just waiting on you. Hey, let's go be new creatures every morning. He gives us a new, fresh chance every morning. There's nothing you've done that he can't fix. And you won't want to go back once you experience him. I love you. Have a great day. We'll see you here tomorrow on The Voice.